Hello, everyone. My name is Xia Xianliu, a PhD candidate at Nanjing University. Today, I'm going to present our work on DuraX, a generic framework for finding special quadratic elements in data space. This presentation is divided into five parts. Let's begin with the background. Nowadays, data stream processing has been widely deployed in web analysis, such as traffic management, intrusion detection, web click analysis, and social network interactions. One of the most fundamental tasks is to find special items with features such as frequency or persistence. The frequency of an item is the number of its occurrences, and the persistence of an item is the number of periods it occurs. Typical special items include heavy items, which refer to items with frequencies larger than a predefined threshold. Top K items, which are the K items with the largest frequencies and persistent items whose persistence is larger than the threshold. As shown in the sign, the data stream has four different colors of items. They can obtain their frequencies and persistence in the right table. As we set the threshold, okay, we can find the special items. It's also high speed and large volume of data streams, but limited memory we can use. We cannot record all of the data to extract the information we need. For many probabilistic data structures called sketches have been widely accepted because they are fast, accurate, and memory efficient. For instance, Combi sketch is a classic sketch to estimate the frequencies of items. It consists of the arrays, each of which has double counters. To insert an item, it maps X to the counters and increase them by one. For each item, its estimated frequency is the smallest value of all the demapped counters. However, one hidden assumption taken by this box on special items is that they identify an item according to a primary data dimension and ignore the close correlation between dimensions. For example, the data packet can be described as source IP destination IP. The operator just defined having a term source IP, X, which sends a large volume of traffic. To reveal the correlation between dimensions, there are some prior works like finding correlated heavy heaters. For instance, X sends 1,000 turn and turn packets to Y1, Y2, and Y3, respectively. We think X and Y1 have close correlation. According to our previous introduction, we can find that fundamental tasks cannot reveal close correlation of items between dimensions. Although correlation-based tests make up for the deficiency, they are not generic because they only focus on frequency. So we propose to find special quadratic elements in data streams. Here we first introduce a new concept, quadratic elements. Given an item X from a primary dimension and an item Y from a secondary dimension, that occurs with X, the item pair denoted as X1 is the quadratic element of X. Finding special quadratic elements is to find X, Y satisfying the following conditions. X belongs to a set G and find X, Y is no less than by one multiplies to find X. Finding special quadratic elements has many practical applications. Based on the typical special items mentioned before, we focus on three important applications. The first one is HH, for which G is the set of heavy hitters, finding the frequency evaluation function. As explained in the previous example, operat operators are interested not only in the source IP that sends a large volume of traffic, but also in where most of the traffic is going. The second one is the TH. In social websites, real-time trends track top K hottest hot topics, such as by users. By analyzing the active users behind different topics, we can make more accurate recommendations and, and customize a higher quality of service for users. The last one is PT. In some fancy web attacks, victims need to be located by finding 
uh, consistent items to further intercept the malicious traffic. We also need to locate active actors, attackers that have long-term connections to the victims. Now, let me introduce our approach. I'd like to begin with our proposed data structure, Duet. Duet is a two-stage framework that consists of two data structures, Zfilter and Stable. Zfilter consists of two parts. One is a sketch, for example, coming sketch for items. The other is a filter consists of the array. For each array, there are double buckets, and each of them is divided into two parts, elements and columns. Of an aromatic device are matrix of cells, each of which contains two parts, element and filter. The key idea of duet is shown in the figure, which is to filter out irrelevant items first and then collect the quadratic element of special items. Note that we call an item is hot when its estimated value is no less than the predefined threshold. Next, let's turn to the insertion. The main idea of insertion is shown in the figure. Here are some notions. One represents the estimator, and the edge is a predefined threshold for hot items. The first query acts to insert it into the sketch. If the estimated value of x is smaller than the edge, we insert xy into the field. After that, if x just becomes hot, we extract potential hot quadratic elements from the filter to a stable. If the estimated value of x is larger than NTH, we directly insert xy into a stable. Now let's turn to the insertion of each data structure. As we have introduced the common sketch before, we don't explain its operations here again. The rationale of the filter is that each item uses map the buckets to approximately preserve its quadratic elements. After finding the map the back buckets of, it, of current quadratic elements, there are three cases. Case one. The counter of the bucket is zero. We insert x1y1 into it. Case two. x1y1 is recorded in the bucket. We increase its counter by one. Case three x1, y1 is not recorded in the bucket, we decrease the counter by one. After that, if the counter value is zero, we replace the element with x1, y1 and set the counter as one. The insertion of S table also has three cases. After mapping x, y into one line of cells, if, one, if x, y is not found and there is an empty cell, we insert it into the empty cell and set its frequency at F. If xy is found, we increase its frequency by F. If xy is not found and there is no empty cell, we find cell with the smallest frequency and decrease it by F. After that, if its frequency is less than zero, we replace the cell with xy and set its frequency as its absolute value. We apply duet to three applications. For each application, we need to set up the appropriate sketch for items. For application HH, we can set the sketch as a counting sketch or CU sketch to estimate the frequencies of items. For application TH, we can set the sketch as string summary to find top K items. For application PP, the main idea of estimating persistence is to remove duplicates in each time period. Inspired by the on-off sketch, we set the we set the flat bit, we set the flat bit for each counter to remove duplicates. We can set the sketch as CU sketch to flat with flats to estimate persistence of items. Next, let's turn to the experimental part. We use four real-world data sets. The first two are the traffic traces come from China's, China's high-speed monitor. Redster is the data set from the social network Reddit Hyperlink Network. This subreddit to subreddit Hyperlink Network is extracted from the posts that cre create hyperlinks from one subreddit to another. And Stack is the data set 
from Stack Overflow Temple Network, which is a network of interactions on the Stack Exchange website. We focused on five metrics to evaluate our framework to put precision, we call F1 score and ARE. The first conduct experiment to compare our framework with other algorithms for application HH. We set serial sketch, CM sketch, and string summary as the sketch in the diffuse. This slide and the next slide display the results. We show that the performance of our framework is better than the other algorithms on the four data sets. We explore the effects of parameters in the application HH. Specifically, we, ver we verify one and five tools to compare our framework with other algorithms. Meanwhile, we explore the effects of region of memory used for the filter. We find that we can obtain higher accuracy when the ratio of memory used for the filter is around 0.6 for CU to add and 0.7 for CM to add and SS to add. For the other two applications, TH and PP, we show the experimental results on Tidal 1. Also, our framework of performance other algorithms. The experimental results show that our framework is generic. It has good performance on the three applications, HH, TH, and PP. Our framework is fast. It can have up to 3.5 higher throughput. Our framework is accurate. It, it can have up to three orders of magnitude smaller ARE. The last page is about conclusion. We define a new problem to find special genetic elements in data streams, for which we design a generic, fast, and accurate framework to add. We conduct experiments on three applications to validate the performance of our framework. Thank you all for your time.